uh, thanks to my previous uh, video. You'll have to excuse my cat. Hey guys, Barry Movie Buff here, back with a really quick video in response to a question I received on one of my videos uh, about Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, all about movies, this is your shout out, this is your official answer, my friend. Um, to answer your question, if you were to ask me, being a Harry Potter fan, yes, Crimes Against Grindelwald is worth owning because I will buy and own anything and everything Harry Potter related. And I feel like Warner Brothers knows that. So even if they put out a bad movie that gets low ratings and bad reviews, they know it's still going to make money because Harry Potter fans all, all around the world are going to pay money to see it. Now, again, we can't always go um, and, and base how we feel on movies based on how others feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because it got a bad review or Rotten Tomatoes gave it a bad score doesn't mean that it's a bad movie. It's subjective. You know, um, what Rotten Tomatoes could consider a bad movie, I could absolutely love. You know, it's all subjective. It's all based on your personal opinions, your views, your likes, your dislikes. So, again, as a Harry Potter fan, this was something I definitely had to pick up, whether it's a good movie or not. And I will say this about this movie it is slow. There's a lot of standing around and talking. Uh, a lot of, you know, not actually, not a lot of Jude Law. Jude Law plays a young Dumbledore, and you kind of wanted a little bit more of that, but again, this is the beginning of a franchise, the beginning of a series. We will eventually see more Jude Law as Dumbledore, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Johnny Depp was really good. I enjoyed Johnny Depp's performance as Grindelwald, the main villain in this movie. He was very sneaky, he was a smooth talker. His whole job was to build an army, so to speak have followers join him and rise up against the Muggles. Um, so you got somewhat of a faint plot line, to be honest, for this movie. And it's just surrounded by just a handful of creatures, not as many as there were in the previous movie. Um, but ultimately, you got your main character, Newt Scamander, and his friends from the last movie. And those are the main ones I guess they really want you to focus on as well as Dumbledore, as well as Johnny Depp's Grindelwald. Again, this movie is slow, it's got some pacing issues, but I think what saves this movie for Harry Potter fans is the anticipation of what's coming next. It's that big climactic event, it's the main event, it's what we're heading towards in this series. So if you can just accept the fact that this is possibly a really slow build up to the big climax, in the next three Fantastic Beasts movies, I think you'll be okay with the movies. So is Crimes of Grindelwald worth buying? If you're kind of questioning it, I would probably wait a while until the price drops. It's still fairly new to the store shelves, so the prices are still kind of high. So if you feel like you don't want to spend $30 on a movie right away, probably wait. Probably wait till it goes on sale, the price drops in general. But ultimately, yes, if you like the Harry Potter movies and you like the first Fantastic Beast movie, I think this is a nice addition to the set. Uh, I bought mine on 4K, along with all the other Harry Potter movies on 4K as well. Um, so I'm a big fan. I've got to have them all, you know, no matter how good or bad they are. I'm going to find some enjoyment in each one of these Harry Potter related movies. So all about movies. Here is your shout out, there is your answer. Hope that helps you out. Hope that helps anybody else out as well who's curious about Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald and whether or not it's worth owning. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what other types of videos you would like to see on this channel. Leave some comments below, love to hear from you guys. Thanks for following me. If you're not following me already, go ahead and click on subs that subscribe button there and tap that bell icon to stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks so much for watching this guys. I will see you guys next time.